Hello and welcome to the presentation of our extended abstract titled Assessing the Validity of Saliency Maps for Abnormality Localization in Medical Imaging. This work was carried out at the Quantitative Translational Imaging and Medicine Lab under the Massachusetts General Hospital. Saliency maps are attribution methods that highlight the regions of an input image that were most influential for the model in making its prediction. These have become a popular approach for post hoc interpretability of convolutional neural networks and even for localization tasks. In this work, we seek to quantitatively assess the stability, repeatability, and reproducibility of these methods in the medical imaging setting by performing a few experiments on the publicly available RSNA pneumonia dataset. Let me, let me go over what each of these terms individually mean. Stability refers to the dependence of the saliency map on the parameters of the model. We test this by sequentially randomizing layers of an inception classification network and observing the corresponding changes in the resulting saliency map. Repeatability refers to the visual similarity of saliency maps produced by two different models sharing the same architecture and hyperparameters. Reproducibility refers to the similarity of saliency maps produced by two different models from two different architecture classes. We consider an inception V3 network and a dense net 121 network, both of which are popularly used as classification networks in medical imaging. Moving on to the results of the stability experiment, the figure at the top is a visualization of the changes in saliency map as the model is progressively randomized. We consider six popularly used saliency methods for uh, these experiments. As we move from the left column to the right, we see the changes in saliency map as the model is randomized from the last layer to the first. Plotted below are the spearmint rank correlations of the saliency maps when taken with the corresponding saliency map for the fully trained model. And also we have the difference in dice scores as we randomize the layers sequentially. In this experiment, we found that RADCAM degraded the most with model randomization, whereas the other methods remained relatively stable. And this suggested an invariance of these models, uh, of these methods to model weights and biases. Shown in the figures here are the results of the repeatability and reproducibility experiments which we have labeled as intramodal and intermodal repeatability, respectively. For the intra, intramodal repeatability experiment, we considered two instances of the inception V3 network. And for the intermodal experiment, we considered an inception network and density network. On the top row for each image of the intramodal repeatability figure is the saliency maps produced by the inception V3 network, whereas on the bottom row, are the saliency maps produced by the replicate inception V3 network. In the intermodal re repeatability experiment, the top row corresponds to the saliency maps produced by the inception network, whereas the bottom row corresponds to the maps produced by a dense net 121 network. Plotted below are the dice score differences across models and a bar graph uh, depicting the rank correlation of these sets of maps for the different saliency methods. We find that none of these methods are sufficiently repeatable or reproducible, and ultimately not reliable when used to substantiate the performance of a classification model. We have in fact extended our study to additional saliency methods and data sets, and established that our findings are indeed supported by these additional experiments. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to any questions you might have about our work.